Jazakum Allah khairin. Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. So the, uh, the Asr prayer is almost upon us. And uh, alhamdulillah, first I wanted to begin by thanking, I gave the khutbah on Friday. Alhamdulillah that uh, I got to see the community and uh, may Allah bless, as the, Dr. Rania said, all of the founders of this community plus all of those who are here. You know, Imam Siraj Wahaj, subhanAllah, if I turn and profile to my side, to my right, like literally as I was growing up, I decided how would my beard look? And if you look to the side, you can see the angle. That was Imam Siraj Wahaj. I said, subhanAllah, if you want to look good, if you want to be a Muslim who like commands respect, that's Imam Siraj Wahaj and Sidi Fridun. The other reason he has pens, because every time he would be talking to people, they'd walk up and go, Imam Siraj, do you have a pen? So he'd be giving away pens and he wouldn't have any for himself to take notes. So he had eight pens or ten pens for that. But what I wanted to really say is that subhanAllah, you know, it, there comes a time in our lives when we start to realize that all of the words, all of the deeds, everything comes to an end. But with Imam Siraj, subhanAllah, there is a legacy, a deep legacy that is Islam in America lived. Which means we talk about the nation of Islam, we talk about the fact that the transition to Sunni Islam, we talk about the fact the contributions to community. Imam Siraj taught us how to ask for money. Don't worry, we're not going to ask for money. People stop breathing when we say money in the masjid. So he taught us how to do that. And then I asked him, I said, Imam Siraj, how did this happen? What is the style we use right now? The style of asking. And he said, Allah Yarham, Dr. Ahmed Saqar invented that style early in the 60s. So when we gather and we talk about a person who has had this phenomenal legacy, we have to look and see every aspect of our life has been touched by someone like him. I was the president of the National MSA, and he was beginning with Imam Zaid and Dr. Jackson and Sheikh Hamza and others to form MANA, which is the Muslim Alliance in North America, dedicated to an indigenous sort of agenda. And someone had said, you know, you should come because this is a great, you know, a new sort of gathering. We don't know what it'll become. So I went there. I was a PhD student, and I just started volunteering to, you know, to, to take notes. And then as I was taking notes and just going along, at one point he just paused and he goes, you know, why is he taking notes? I said, that's, that's, I'm just volunteering to take notes, just helping out. He said, he is as much of the indigenous agenda that we're trying to form. And he said, he has to be in our executive committee. And subhanAllah, <laughs> and you'll like this, uh, at a manor conference, he actually stood up and he gave me, and I'm not going far, I'm just telling you what happened, an honorary African-American status. And I'm telling you, I was like, nobody does that. Who does that? Who gets up and goes, today you're an honorary Masri, right? Or today you're an honorary Hyderabadi. I mean, you pay the problems of eating Hyderabadi biryani, right? All of us have done that, mashallah. But he, he just got up and he said, this is what's going to happen. This guy is one of us. He was basically saying what? Everything the Prophet ﷺ did would make everyone feel welcome. I have never heard of a someone, not once, complain that Imam Siraj Wahaj was inaccessible. Not one person. Whereas even we are now being complaining and said, we can't reach you, we don't know how to get to you, you have people we have to go through. Imam Siraj, you could stop him anywhere. And he would stop with all of his books. And by the way, you know another reason we carry all those books? And I'll close with that, you know why? I asked him, he said, sometimes they keep trying to shake my hands when he meets all these other people who are not Muslims. So he just shuffles the books and they stop shaking hands. <laughs> he doesn't have to explain. He doesn't have to do anything. I love this man, subhanAllah. And my father happens to also be named Siraj. Jazakumullah khair and salam alaykum.